Some drivers say a parts shortage is causing a delay in replacing their faulty ignition switch. Nikki Zizaza now in the studio with the top story. Nikki, what are customers saying? Well, Sadie, one local woman says she is outraged it's taking this long to hear back from her dealership. She says she's terrified to drive long distances for fear her car may shut down on her or worse. A warning letter addressed to Sue Bush arrived in August. Your vehicle is involved in a recall. It came from General Motors Until saying the, the 2008 Chevy Impala she drives every day is being recalled for a faulty ignition switch. But two months later, it still can't be fixed because the part she needs isn't in yet. It's ridiculous. I don't understand if I had the cash to go out and buy the part, would they have it then? The retired grandmother can't afford to rent or buy another car, so she drives her Chevy Impala nervously with her grandchildren in tow, even though there is a risk the key could switch out of the run position and shut power off to the engine. Driving on the expressway with people driving 70 miles an hour right directly behind you, that's just death waiting to happen. But Jim Sims of Sims Chevrolet says his dealership doesn't have a shortage of parts. He encourages customers to bring their cars in to get their ignition switch replaced. Customers need to contact the dealership first, schedule an appointment. At that point in time, some recall parts require an inspection first. Once the inspection is completed, we can actually order the part and have it here for the customer. Sue says until that happens, her anxiety won't stop. Not until she has a reliable set of wheels. Sue plans to contact her car dealer to inquire about the part. She says she'll stop driving if the repair is delayed any longer. Again, while Sue's dealer doesn't have the part she needs in yet, other dealers in our area say that they have the parts on hand. So it's important for drivers to call around to get the help they need. In the studio, Nikki Zizaza, NBC 25 News.